Welcome everyone for this Thin Lizzy tune. I'm tuned down half a step. So um, if you want to tune to e, e flat, that'll get you in tune. I just, I love dancing in the moonlight. It's got a lot of mood in it. And um, I took my 58 Les Paul and I didn't like the burst buckers in it. So I changed it out for some Lindy Fralin pure PAFs and um, I wired it 50s style. I really love the tone of this guitar now. It, it's like night and day. Um, it's right up there with my new 57 with the custom buckers. I just love the tone of it. So um, anyhow this will give you an idea of what these pickups can do. Okay the song starts out with uh, it's really a guitar and he's palm muting and he's playing along with the bass. So if you want to do that part, it's uh, we kind of slide into seven on the sixth string. Then we're going to hit uh, the fifth string at fifth fret twice. And then we'll hit seven on the fifth string, but it'll be kind of staccato. We'll hit one note and then another note. So we have this so far. And then we're going to go back and forth. We're going to hit 5 on the 5th string, 7 on the 6th, back to 5 twice on the 5th string. Alright, so we have this. Then we hit 7. Then we come to 7, that's on the 5th string. Then we come to 7 on the 6th string twice. It's like starting over again and then we'll hit five on the fifth string twice and then we'll go to the third fret of the fifth string hit that staccato twice and then we're going to go two to open on the fifth and then three okay so all together slowly one two three four There's six scratches there. Down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay? And that'll get you into the chords. The chords we're playing in the verse are E minor. Then what we do is just play an inversion of B minor. So we're just really lifting our, our middle finger and we're playing the fourth string as the B. And we're barred across the rest of the strings at the seventh fret. To a C and then to a G. All right, so, so we have this. All right, so the strumming is more of a down and then a chuck and then an up, down, up, down. And then you do the same. Again with the B. And the G is just a down, then down, up, because there's a couple licks in there. Alright, the licks I'll show you in a second. So we got this rhythm. Now what the other guitar does when they go to the G, he's going to slide up to the uh, on the third and second string you can hit the fourth string if you want all right so what he's doing is hit ha he's hammering in 13 on the second and 14 on the third string it gives it some vibrato so it's down up down with vibrato That's the very first one. Now the second one, when he comes back in, he's going to come to that tw uh, 13 and 14 and slide up to 15, 16, and then back to 12th fret and give that some vibrato. All right, that's the second one. The, the third fill is just like the first. All right, so those are the fills in the verse when they're playing the G that the second guitar does.
All right, here's the chorus at speed, and then I'll slow it down and show you what we're doing. So what we're doing there a little different is after the G, we're going to go to a B and then to our B minor and then E minor from there. One, two, three. I think they do Chuck is there. But anyhow, so that'll get you through the chorus. That's how he changes it up. The G, B, B minor. Okay, and this B minor, of course, we're playing this inversion back up here. So that'll get you through the chorus. Now, speaking of the lead, when they uh, go into the lead, they're just playing the verse underneath. Um, the verse is the rhythm. So it's real, it's not, it's not that staccato kind of pit, uh, strumming, it's just more chords, so the guitar can uh, shine.